What I'm trying to get across to everybody is I did not come to Jesus by going to an antichrist. I do not have an atheist at my elbow to explain the Bible to me. I wandered into an anti-Baptist website a couple months ago, and I, and I realized it was anti-Baptist. I got out of it. I will not go to an anti-Baptist to learn what the Baptist church teaches. So then you should never have gone to Joseph because he said that all the creeds were an abomination, all the professors are corrupt. He was anti-Christian. You interrupted. I'm saying I would not go to an anti-Mormon to learn about the Church of Jesus Christ. But you missed what I just said, though. If your standard is, I won't go to an anti-something to learn about something else, then you should never have gone to Joseph because he was opposed to the Christian church. He says that God told him we are an abomination, that I, listen, Stephen, I know you have love for me. Read, You've always been sweet to me. One second, Joseph Smith let, me, let me finish. Again. You've always been sweet to me. I know that you don't feel this way about me, but your prophet said that God told him that I am corrupt. Read that again. Stephen, can you, you missed something. No, 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 okay, I'll, I'll quote it, ready? He told me to join none of the churches for they are all what? Yes. Wrong. All their creeds are an abomination. an abomination. All their professors are corrupt. They draw near to me with their lips, lips but their hearts are far from me. That's what your prophet said about me. No, that's what he was saying about those people at that time. I believe everything they believe. Okay. This guy next to me, watch. Ready, watch. Just to show you how Joseph had it wrong. I got to show it to you, Stefan, so you can see it. This guy. Yeah. This guy, look how different we are. Yes. Not only is he a different color than me, but he is also a Presbyterian. Right. I'm yes. a Baptist. Time here's, out. here's, hold on. Just look how different. Yeah. Look how, how, look at the kingdom of God here in unity. And in the day that Joseph was in New England, there were, there were Presbyterians and Reformed Baptists. And though he and yes. I disagree on, yeah, the mode of baptism yeah. and non-essential. Non -essential. Guess what? All of all of Joseph's claims that there's all this just denominational disruption and difficulty. This guy and I believe same God, same gospel. That's yes. what was going on then. No, back then they were contending against each other for the We faith. argue they over we arguing. we argue uh, over cups uh, of coffee over uh, baptism. Yeah. It, it, okay. it doesn't change <laughs> okay. it doesn't change the salvific let's, plan let's, of man at all. What what we have in common, the okay. brotherhood, okay. how God takes all men right. from all walks of life and puts them into the fold. Okay. See, them. I want you to hear could, that Stephen, listen. Could, beyond this beyond the dispute you got to look at what's in front of you right now. Yes. Joseph lied. He no, lied. No. He lied yeah. to you. Yes, no. you got to come could, to the could, true could, Christ. Could, it's could, been over a decade we've could, been talking. We You've got so much light. Could we take a break for just a moment? Yes, yes. Let me, let me ask you something. Okay. Did you see that thing? It was on the news uh, about a month ago. There were two boys, a white boy with long hair and a black boy with short hair. About what happened? I don't, I don't they recall. They were in school, and the white boy and the black boy got together, and they said, we're going to play a prank on our teacher. I'm going to get a haircut just like yours, and she won't be able to tell us a different, <laughs> tell us apart. And they did. Mm -hmm. It was the most beautiful thing, yeah. because what they were doing is they were getting their sameness together. But, you, but, but and, can, I, can and, I say something hard? Can I say something hard? And Stefan, I'm going to say this to you. Go ahead. With, you know the depth of my love for you and my concern. We have honestly known each other for a long yeah. time. What you just said is precious to my heart because yeah. what you are saying is consistent with what God says. But you, but you, I got to say it, you know what Brigham said about this man. But what did... Well, hold on. What, what Brigham we, said yes, about this man. Yes, did, yes. He is uncomely, uncouth, low in all of his habits. Yes. He said he is cursed by God. Mm -hmm. You know they are false prophets, Stefan. <laughs> Everything you're saying, because you've read that book so yeah. many times, that Bible, you I, know the I truth. Have read I, have not made, I have not been made in the image of God. Omago no, Day. No, He's you are, you, you are made in the image of God, <laughs> and you are made... And well, I, I know that from Scripture. We are, from the <laughs> yeah. Scriptures. Yeah, but from, Brigham, Brigham taught he's yeah, cursed. Okay. Mm. But that... But that, I'm not putting this on you. But I know you don't believe. I know you his, don't accept that. But that wasn't. That wasn't his God, whole religion. Was that black people are cursed? Okay, but listen. You know that is one a, that is a statement that he made. That is hate. It is hate, and hate is not from God. Well, he can't be a prophet of God and hate like that in his heart. He doesn't hate. 
Okay. No, I, uh, you I don't want to see the I'm, quote, I'm, right? I'm just. May I ask who you're talking about that was hating? Joseph. Brigham Young. Brigham Young. Joseph Smith. Okay, let me tell you something. Okay. In a documentary about Joseph Smith, uh huh. A black person that came from the south walked hundreds of miles just to get to the north, showed up in their town, and Joseph Smith helped them right away. Good. Is I'm, that I'm, hate? Is that hate? I, I think uh, saying that black people are cursed by God no, no. and are not able His to have question. the priesthood. Yeah, no, that was a moment. That was a bright and shining moment. If it was true, I don't know anything about it. But I will tell you so what Joseph you said. To, you need to what find Joseph out these said. More. What Joseph said about black people. I can, I, can, I can find out what Joseph said about black people. I don't need to know what he did in, in feeding somebody or giving them a dollar. I can tell you what he said about black people. He said that they were cursed by God, that they can never hold the priesthood, that they are uncomely, un uncouth, disagreeable and low in all their habits. The, the, the Mormon she? teaching about black people is they're cursed by God and they could not hold the priesthood until the civil rights movement in the United States, God changed his mind, just like God changed his mind after the United States warned the Mormon people that they would be driven out of the United States and essentially exterminated if they didn't stop practicing polygamy and God changed his mind. Yeah. I, I, I care for you boys, yeah. but, but we, we're here because we love you and want to point you to the true Christ, the true gospel. Yeah. Gave, Absolutely. You, you know what? You guys are. Yeah. Did I give you the one? Yeah, I, I gave got it. And plus, two, you guys. Are, you, you're Stefan, right? Stefan. Stefan. Yeah. Um, could I? Could and, 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 and I'm sure you've heard this before. This is something that I like to bring up, and it doesn't seem like it's a big deal to a lot of Mormons, but it's, very, it's a very big deal uh, when you're looking at you know, the demographics. Um, mm -hmm. The prophecy was that Jesus Christ was to be born at Jerusalem. That's that's in the Book of Mormon. <laughs> yeah, which, which the, Bethlehem, there was, right. Bethlehem was a suburb of nope. Jerusalem. It's total that's different only, places. If you go no, it's anywhere in the Middle like, East, they will like, tell you that is those are those what, those are not. How far apart is how far how many miles from Jerusalem to Bethlehem? It's the, those are distinct places that yep. no one would ever get wrong. The prophecy was that he was to he was going to be born at Bethlehem. Yeah, Micah. And, yes, and so when Joseph Smith says, and this is the word that he used, he was born at Jerusalem, that's a specific place, okay. different from Bethlehem. You know, and, and so when you look at just just, just, just that one, just that one uh, uh, contradictory statement, then how could I even see or how could I embrace one book to be true? Just on one, and there's several, there's several that we've, pointed out and and that my okay. brother all uh, uh, how do you pointed how out do, so many of them how do you answer atheists who point out contradictions in the bible oh be, yeah, because we put it in context but exactly. but right but there's no exactly. way that you can put in context a city and a place in another uh, a city or place that's totally different from each other okay, can i hear you say something so about when you said that god changes his mind one scripture god is the same today yesterday today and forever amen who said god changed his mind you guys did no uh, no that no, the, in mormonism the mormon god has changed his mind he declares something as an eternal principle polygamy he says that you'll never become a god or even a son of god if you don't enter into polygamy and they said if you deny polygamy you'll be damned that's what brigham and joseph taught and then a little within a generation essentially the mormon god changed his mind after he said you'll be damned and you'll never become a god he then changed his mind the god of the bible doesn't change that's what we're here to tell you is about the true christ and the true gospel we care for you we love you we want you to know the real god you can you can take this and you can see what we're saying and you can test it you can test it according to scripture you got one of those do you want one of these all right Still left.